Hello, and welcome to my massage studio. So, I am filming the introduction here instead of in front of the thrift store that I'm going to head to shortly. I'm going to go to Goodwill and shop around for a little bit. I am dealing with some not fun um, medical things. So I'm just going to go and look around and take my mind off of what's going on outside in my world. Uh, but right before I turn on the video to start filming, I noticed this. And that is not good. So it's a gap in the window where the window has actually fallen down. And I can stick my fingers outside. So luckily the weather's been really nice and it hasn't been raining. But I'm going to take a minute or two before I head to... Goodwill to do some thrifting to see if I can fix this window issue that I got going on right now. I'll touch base with you when I'm in the thrift store and it'll probably be a voiceover, hopefully better than the last one. Okay, all better. Hopefully it won't fall down again. crazy that I've been in this studio for six years in June and that's the first time that it's happened. So I'm glad I caught it before it started raining. And now I'm off to Goodwill. See you there. Here I am at Goodwill and I started out by looking at the clothing, specifically the skirts. There were a lot of skirts with fun patterns, so this is the first one I looked at. It was a maxi, it was grace elements, I think it was a six petite for $4.99. I looked at comps later on and it didn't have the greatest resale value and I have so many skirts that I don't need to pick up any more just in case this one didn't sell. So I just looked at it, I videoed it, I really like the colors and the pattern, but I left it. The rest of it is just a view of some of the other skirts that were there. There were a lot of Lulu Row skirts, and the market's pretty saturated with those, so I'm not into buying that. I bought this dress for myself. It was $5.99 and I think it'll be a fun summer dress to wear. A quick view of some of the other dresses that were for sale. Again, I have too many dresses. I shouldn't even got that one, but I was going to spoil myself a little bit. A quick walkthrough of the toys. This was a cute combination sitting on the shelves. This was fun to find in the wild, brought back memories. I had one when I was a little girl. All the pieces were there, I think they were selling it for $3.75, but comps just weren't that great, so I left it. A few of some of the dishware, I like the pattern on this square one, but the inside of it was trashed, so that one stayed on the shelf. A pretty luster wear set, but I have too many dishes to sell, so those stayed on the shelf. Plates, plates, and more plates, and again, I have too many that I already have to sell, so I'm not gonna buy any more unless it was the coolest thing and I just didn't see it. I am so excited about this. I'm a huge Alice in Wonderland fan. I love large mugs. This is a Cheshire Cat mug. I'm so excited. So this is coming home with me. The other mugs I looked at are false graph. They stayed on the shelf. Does this Norman Rockwell mug make you want to drink a Coke? The flower print mug is the chrysanthemum pattern from Pier 1 and comps on that are actually really good, about $16, but this one wasn't in good shape so I left it. I like the pattern on these teacups, but there were no saucers, they're nor talky, and I have so many teacups to sell that I did not pick these up.
this mug was a lot of fun. It had Santa and the elves coming home after a long night of partying, and Mrs. Claus is saying, don't you ho 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 me. So I grabbed it for resale next Christmas.